welcome back. Here's a prototype for Banjo Pilot from when oh. it was Diddy Kong Pilot. Hey. This oh. is a very early prototype. Yeah. It's really just like more tech demo stuff. But if you quit, it takes you to this. Oh. So yeah. That's it's... a nice looking menu. Yeah, the graphics are pretty broken. And Candy Kong turns into Redneck Kong. <laughs> Redneck Kong? Yeah, he, he was... He's a guy. There's no music or anything, but it's... It's very, very, uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Mm -hmm. Like the bananas you collect, which increase your top speed, the uh, power-ups, the fact that they're in balloons. It's very Diddy Kong. Yeah, we're not going to linger on this too much because it's not terribly interesting there's no music or anything it's very early yeah it does look fine yeah but yeah this got leaked at some point you can find it it also uh crashes frequently oh uh, makes sense oh <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> I think I'm trying to show a character other than the one we like the character select screen doesn't line up at all and it just keeps crashing. Mm hmm So here's a much more finished prototype that's still Diddy Kong Racing or Diddy Kong oh. Pilot. That's some kind of snazzy music. Yeah. This is basically a finished game. Okay. Also everyone looks horrifying. Oh no. Look at Funky Kong! And everyone else! Oh no. Yeah, you'll see a lot of shades of, uh, Banjo Pilot in here. Cranky Kong is playing the part of Bottles. And honestly, this looks less shitty. Yeah, it looks better. I guess it wasn't as rushed together as uh, Banjo Pilot was. Maybe Banjo models are just cursed. Maybe. Oh. There's Steamy Swoop. It's Spiral Mountain. Yeah, you may recognize it as the exact same course. That's so messed up. And the exact same BGM. Wow. It's... It visually looks like, a lot better, I think. Yeah. yeah they had finished this yeah. game pretty much. And Fuck then they got voicing. sold, so they swapped some stuff. Yeah. Also, Funky Kong's voice lines right there. Holy shit. Yeah, they're good. Oh my god. Is this, like, based off the Donkey Kong, like, show? I'm not sure, but also you may notice, uh, you may have noticed that the notes you could collect in Grand Prix mode, there were four of them in each track. Yeah. In this version of the game, it's Kong. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yep. You're getting messed up. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Everyone was hounding me there. And that happens in Banjo Pilot sometimes too. Just everyone fucks you. I I love so these voice every, lines. Everyone is so chatty in this game, I love Just, it. It's a cacophony. <laughs> Just keep going. God. Let's 
Man, they really just had it done, huh? Yep. This is... This is Doc... Or not Donkey Kong. This is Banjo Pilot. This is the exact yep. same game. I really think that even though the courses still suck, I imagine it's not that much more fun to play, really. Um, it's the same. It yeah. plays exactly the same. The fact that it doesn't look like total garbage, and it has like a bit more personality to it, makes it a bit more fun to look at, at least. Yeah, the character models, I think, were probably a little bit better before they turned them into sprites here. They probably just kind of threw together the banjo ones because they needed to get this game out. Yeah. Well, there was... They tried to make a different game for Banjo Pilot as well, that we'll see here in a little bit. Oh. Because there are a total of three prototype ROMs floating around for Banjo Pilot. That's a lot. Yeah, this game went through a lot of major revisions. Kind of makes sense why they never really got time to polish it and turn it into something decent. Yeah. If they had just, like, stuck with this idea from the start instead of making a banjo pilot that's not this they probably could have polished it into something pretty okay yeah like this seems this not banjo pilot looks like the start of something like that could have a bit of personality and be all right yeah and mostly that's because it like just visually looks better it has more personality it like fits in an established universe mm -hmm. Which are intangible things for a game, but it helps. Yeah. It can help a lot, really. Yeah, it really does. It just makes it feel, like, more finished. Yeah, like... All the music, although it's still not really great music, it actually fits now. Yeah. Because, like, the whole time with Banjo Pilot, you're just like, what is this music it's just like donkey kong stuff yeah especially the one track that just has diddy kong like making chip noises into the microphone yep and all the items make a bit more sense now mm -hmm. it's not them struggling to come up with a uh, banjo kazooie in universe equivalent to these things yeah. Like, oh, what could we have that attacks everyone? I don't know, Mingy Jongo? <laughs> the voice lines Watch are it, man. fun and silly. Yeah. Monkey, Monkey power. power. I wish they left that clip in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you'd be playing Banjo Pilots and be like, what the... <laughs> Feeling cohesive and complete it turns out it does a lot for a game. Yeah, because this is the same game. It plays exactly the same. Oh, also the sound breaks sometimes. Oh no. It is a prototype. Yeah. Yeah. At least it fixes itself. Yeah, it fixes itself once you <laughs> unload the area. Let's go, dude. Get ready. Go. Look at K rule. Oh. Yeah. Also, something I like about this version of the game is the character selection is like four Kongs and four Kremlings. Yeah. Which I think. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, you get some of the little mook villains in there. Yeah, there's less of just like, at the end of this race you fight Kazooie, because I don't know, Kazooie. <laughs> what well, hey! Yeah. I do appreciate you went for Funky Kong, thank you. Oh, absolutely. Oh, 
I just turned the volume down at this point because <laughs> <laughs> the bug happened. Fair enough. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, it just kind of keeps going until you end the race, so if it starts early, then you just have to deal with these horrible jet engine noises right in your ears. Yeah, that sucks. Monkey Madness! Monkey Madness? Monkey Madness. So yeah, you can probably tell that those balloons are the equivalents to Globos. Check, me out. Check him out. Finished. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Yeah. This looks a hell of a lot better than the uh, award ceremony in Banjo Pilot. Oh, so much better. Congratulations. Conks. But now we have to do the boss race. Which you actually select separately in this version of the game. That's better. Yeah. Yeah, I prefer it that way too. <laughs> boss bop. Improperly centered. <laughs> Big bottom text energy. Oh, this looks yeah. way easier. Well, it's the first race. Yeah, maybe it's, the it's first just... one. Yeah. I'm just too yeah. used to the later dog fights now. Hmm. The music like... still feels kind of off. Yeah, it's still bad music. It feels less out of place, but it's still not good. Yeah. Also, I like fucking Kong's portrait. Yeah. Check him out. So, uh... This also has time trials and the Cranky Challenge. The Cranky Challenge. We'll go ahead and try a different character this time. Okay. It's it's the uh, bottles is jiggy challenge. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. Let's go to the rectangle. <laughs> so instead of six jiggies, it's six coins, just like in Diddy Kong Racing, the races where you had to collect coins and also win the race. Does that mean Cranky Kong would have been the secret character for this game? Yes. That's much Also, better. I think he... Yeah, he makes a much more desirable and better secret character than Diddy Kong. Or not Diddy Kong. What's his name? Bottles. Bottles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd forget too. Yeah. I do notice that this one doesn't show you this, the location of the things you're collecting, though. Yeah, that. that's something I guess they decided in QA. They were probably like, this sucks and isn't fun. It's like, well, we can't fix that, but we can make it a little bit less miserable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think you just lost. Yeah, I've, I've lost. That's okay, because this is just showing off this weird prototype anyway. Yeah. And how it's like feature complete and perfect. Yeah. I do feel like in a universe where they polished and finished this up and put it out instead of Banjo Pilot, I think it would be a remembered and loved game. Yeah. And, you know, it's not a great game still. People would still be like, well, you know, that game was kind of shit, but. People would remember it and would talk about it once in a while. Yeah, they'd probably have enjoyed it as children. 
Yeah, there would be a lot of nostalgia for it. But yeah. There's Diddy Kong Pilot. That's interesting. Thank you. Yeah. Also, the option screen is really weird. Selecting things does different stuff. Ghost just shows you the Kongs picture. Kongs. I guess it's like an animation test screen. Yeah, you lose. You loose. A lot of them just kick you back to the title screen. It's weird. It's definite. It's clear that they just kind of shove random things in. <laughs> the, the language choices. The yeah. Missing characters. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's Diddy Kong Pilot, though. The game that never was. And here's another Banjo Pilot prototype. When they tried oh. voxels. <laughs> Oh boy. Note that this game just runs like shit. This is accurately emulated. It is an early prototype and it plays like garbage. It's got the same menus, mostly. Oh. I don't know why I backed out. Oh, I'm showing that everyone has different stats in this version. Oh. Like, Kazooie actually has pretty good stats in this one. Also, if they had already done this. Huh. This is so weird. Yeah, it's like... All of the stuff, like all of the trimmings are the same, it's just once you get into the race itself, it's super weird. Oh. Three, two, go. Also, there's no one! It's three, two, go! What the fuck? Oh, boy. I don't know how to feel about this. It's... it's more Banjo. Like, this looks like an area in a Banjo game, at least. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I this noticed is something. you're not having a good time controlling this. No, it's... it runs so slow, it's hard to control. If it ran at 100% speed, it probably wouldn't be as bad. So oh, yeah, I cut out some of this. Huh. Cause it's so slow. All the same playable characters. Look, it's Treasure Trove Cove, and it actually looks like Treasure Trove Cove. It really does, actually. Yeah. Like you're going through it. Like, this was a cool idea, just the technology wasn't there, which is why they abandoned it. Yeah, and then they wound up with something really, really... ugly. Yeah. Oh, it's look, like... that's a bit from Treasure Trove Cove. Yeah. Like, they looked at it, and they said, you know, we could do... something really cool, here's an idea I've got. And they tried the voxels out, and it turns out it didn't really work. So then they had to go back to the prototype they had for Diddy Kong Racing and just do like graphic swaps. So I yeah. feel like if they hadn't tried to make this, they probably would have had a lot more time and budget to spend on the final game that came out. And it's kind of sad to think that this prototype is the one that like nothing really ever came of it, even though it looks yeah. like the most ambitious. Yeah, it's really cool. And here's a uh, Jiggy Challenge. It plays a lot better because there's only one opponent. Yeah. It it does look interesting. It looks cool. 
yeah, like, when it plays at full speed or close to full speed, it's not actually that bad. It's just they couldn't get it running at a high speed with more than one opponent. Yeah. It's still not great, but, you know, it's a very, very early prototype, like a proof-of-concept level prototype. Mm-hmm. The fact that you're racing through chasms, I feel, also makes the plane gimmick make a bit more sense. Yeah, it makes it like, instead of just, oh, you've flown over a rough patch of ground, so now you're going slow for no reason. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're actually kind of boxed in. And yeah, mm -hmm. that, that makes sense. Oh no, I missed the jiggy. I gotta go back for it. Yeah, it's a real shame that technology just wasn't there for this, because I think it's really cool. I think if they could have got something like this working, it would have been... Would have been pretty good. It would have been pretty cool to see. It would have been super it impressive. Looks... Like, people would have talked about yeah. it just from the oh, uh, perspective of, like, did you see what they made the GBA do? Yeah. And honestly, it's kind of impressive, even in its current state. Like, what they were able yeah. to do, even if they couldn't finish it. I don't think there's anything that looks quite like that. Yeah. It's a neat thing. Yeah, all three of those prototypes are very easy to find online, if you want to play around with them yourselves. They're... They're everywhere. There's like four or five different websites that all have them hosted. And since they're not games that ever came out, no one's really in a rush to take them down. Mm -hmm. It's weird to think that this little GBA racing game was one that had such a really troubled development cycle. Yeah, it really is. Like, And a lot of that is just because they happen to get sold in the middle of developing it. Yeah, it's kind of what happens to a project when there's a big company shake-up right in the middle of things. Mm -hmm. Especially one that, like, takes away an intellectual property from your hands. Yeah, like, they couldn't release Diddy Kong Racing in the state it was in, or Diddy Kong Pilot, not racing. That's a different game. Because yeah. they, they weren't allowed to anymore. And it is weird to think about how, like sudden and uneasy that transition must have been for rare that they like couldn't even finish what they were currently working on and yeah put it out yeah it must have they been had really to quick. drop it yeah because like like completely if they had warning they would have either finished the game or not started it in the first place yeah like it might have ended up being a rushed out game but i feel like they would have tried to finish what they were working on if they had the warning and heads up that this was going to happen. They had the prototype there. Yeah, like, it was almost done. But yeah, that was Banjo Pilot. Tune in next time for uh, some, some more of the Banjo-Kazooie Expanded Universe. Alright, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah.